So, to finish up then, I, um, you know, for those of you who might not have actually said yes, Jesus, I want you in my life. I want to surrender to you. I just want you to know that he only has love for you. And he's given everything of himself to you. And you get to decide what you're going to do with that. Are you going to reject him, push him away, or are you going to say, yes, I need your love, I need your forgiveness, I need your grace, I need your Holy Spirit to fill me so that I can live the life that you've called me to live. And maybe today you want to say that. And that is the best thing to ever want to say. <laughs> it's the greatest step that you could ever make in life. And so I'll, I'll pray a prayer that you can, you can follow now. So just say this in your heart. Say, Jesus, I need your grace. I need your forgiveness. I want everything of my selfishness and self-centeredness to be washed away. I want to start afresh with you in the center. I want to have my eyes fixed on you. I need you. And I want to do life with you. And if you said that, you might not understand everything about Jesus. You might not understand everything that we're even talking about today, perhaps. But if there's somebody in you that's saying, I want that, I need that. Well, God hears the cries of your heart. And he loves it. So that's awesome. You're starting a whole new adventure if you're seriously saying yes, Jesus. And his forgiveness for you is just complete, as we're saying, as far as east is from the west. That's how far he casts our sin and guilt away from us when we turn to him. And it was all because of what Jesus accomplished at the cross. His death was enough to do that. Amazing. Um, his love is just so broad it welcomes anyone it's so wide and, and and long that it casts the sin so far away from us it's so deep that he would go from those heights to to come and die on the cross and it goes to the heights of him lifting you up and putting you in a position of honor that's what he does that's how big his love is it's amazing and if you have given your life to jesus already and you've been walking with him well there's still more for you. There's still more for you to understand about the love of God. There's not, it's not like you can ever get to the point of knowing. As we said, it's beyond. It surpasses knowledge. And it's not just about the information. It's about your heart experience. There's more for you to experience. There's more for me to experience of the love of God. And as we understand that we're meant to do this together... And we pour into each other's lives and we receive and there's this, this pouring in and pouring out and it just keeps going and going. We will be filled to the measure of the fullness of God. So I want to pray for the rest of us too. Jesus, we know that your love is so extraordinary. It's way bigger than we could ever comprehend. It's, it's wider, it's, it's longer, it's higher, it's deeper than we could possibly know. It's beyond us. And so, God, together, collectively, as a, a community of believers, we want to get to know your love more. Give us the power that we need to be able to grasp your love. So that as we live that out, as we experience it and live it out, together we will become filled to the measure of the fullness of God, to reflect your greatness to the rest of the world so that all can see that you're so amazing. You're so amazing. There's nothing greater than you. So fill us with what we need to be able to do that. And it's for your glory that we ask this, Jesus. Amen. Thanks, guys. And uh, just be encouraged to receive the love of God and pour it out into the people around you because it's your influence on other people. 
that's going to impact their hearts to be able to receive more of the love of God as well. Bless you guys.